Saggy. She'll turn Saggy. So somebody who has been avoiding something is ready to stop avoiding it. Okay. It's all a part of the process. Sag, I got my new card, Sag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, please protect this channel, protect this reading. Give me a quick, concise message for the sign of Sagittarius. Give the blood Jesus from the sign of my crown mantle, so my feet, and pull by the arm of God over me, over Sag, or over any cross watcher that comes across this channel. Get any messages. For them in this situation. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. So the right one to come out, you know. Candles already. Candle burning food. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Ten ten on the on the timer. Two three four on that timer. Ten ten on my the time. Alright, so I wasn't paying attention to the stones that I grabbed to put on here, but one is Tiger's Eye and the other one is Rose Quartz. So this could be a love reading I'm about to do or involved in that. Um, I can't remember what the uh, Tiger's Eye still stands for, but y'all can look that up and see. Alright. Let's roll. Man, look how pretty these cards are. They're dope. Uh, three, three, three on the timer. I love them. I love them.
for Sagittarius, please. All right, we got the moon on the bottom of the deck. Something being brought to light. Uh, somebody may be stepping out of the shadows or uh, expressing something that they did not express to you before. Revelation. Anytime you're ready, Sagittarius. The Hierophant. Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Seven one seven on the timer. Somebody stepping into their uh, their calling. Someone's also bringing you some honesty. Okay. Uh, but I'm definitely getting somebody stepping into their calling. Or somebody figuring out that they actually have a calling, or that they are called by God. Four of Wands, bottom of the deck. Two of Cups, seven of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting there's a union that's coming together. Okay, a protected union, an ordained union. Something God is something that God has brought together. Okay. I'm hearing what God what God brings together, let no man separate. try to steal this opportunity for for two people or uh, an invisible force tried to keep these two apart okay in the 3D and in the spiritual. Page 
benefits. What is need one more? Pinnacles in the reverse. Judgment. So I'm getting two people came together, okay, found interest in each other, okay, and something happened, all right, uh, to where a contract was forming. Okay, we're coming together, um, but something interrupted that contract. Okay, brought it to a to a halt. An opposing force. Somebody gave an offer that was not, at the time, was not a realistic offer, okay? Somebody may have been working to try to keep somebody around until they were ready. Kind of getting somebody wanted to play the field until they were ready to come into this union. What's this page of pentacles in this three? I mean, yeah, 
Page of Pentacles and this Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Ugh. And this touching this three ones in the reverse. Judgment. What is this? Three ones in reverse touching this eight of pentacles upright. Somebody may have been married, okay, or in a high level commitment, that they weren't out of yet. So it looks like this masculine, this page of pentacles, trying to have his cake and eat it too. other person who, who this offer was given to or, or presented to um, turned the offer down okay um, because they knew that something wasn't right okay with this offer um, and they were not about to paint an illusion for themselves or allow this person to paint an illusion for them, okay? And it's illusion for them to be living in. So a death came to the situation, right? Judgment was called on it. Blocked at the time. Something had to occur in order for this to line up correctly. Okay. This a person was supposed to get out of this marriage or high level commitment that they were in. Okay. But they were neglecting to get out of it. And not because, they weren't supposed to get out of it because they met this person, okay? The person that they were with in this marriage or had a little commitment, okay, was just supposed to be a lesson to them at a certain point in their lives, okay? Excuse me, they were supposed to be out of this. This person that they met, which is, right now it's looking like a, either a catalyst to them leaving this relationship, okay? Something to push them, right? 
So either this person is their person or just a catalyst to push them out of this. <clears throat> or awaken them. Okay? For them to see that this was just a lesson at a certain point in their lives. So this other person that, that was receiving their offer, they didn't let themselves fantasize about the future, right? They didn't let themselves um, indulge in false hope, okay? Because the way that this person came to them in the first place was not correct, okay? Um, so right there they were judging the situation. Kind of like uh, judging the the ending from the beginning, right? Um, so they stayed on their side of the of the fence, basically, right? And kept working, doing whatever it is that they do in their personal life, right, on a daily basis, which is this Eight of Pentacles right here, working hard, all right, diligently focused. Um, and this person started to receive some type of downloads, okay, about this person. That yes, the timing was wrong, but the person was the correct person. Now the person that was getting these downloads, they're spiritu spiritually awakened, awoken, awoke. They were, they are a spirit, they were spiritually, <laughs> they were already spiritually awakened, okay? <laughs> Damn planets, man. Okay, so they were already awakened, okay? This, this person who gave the offer, they weren't, all right? Which is why they didn't know that the relationship that they were in was way overdue for them to be out of, okay? Because... It was just for a certain part of period of their lives. Goodness. <laughs> Pull that out. This is like Taurus is reading a little bit. A little. Like pulling teeth. Alright, so let's see. Uh, let's go on this page of Pinnacle side. This page of Pinnacle touching this deck. What do people say? A million, million, million miles away. Uh, 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 uh. I said a sag, and I'm doing sag. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> So this denial of this, thank you spirit, this denial of this offer made this page of pinnacles feel some type of way, okay? <laughs> Catching her again. 
can be heartbroken, right? And they in something already. But um, start at the bottom of the deck. Set them into, uh, trigger them into an awakening, okay? Two of Wands, Eight of Cups. Trigger them into an awakening. And that's what it was supposed to do, okay? Cause them, I just showed you the Eight of Cups, to walk away with it no, would no longer serve them, right? Start making plans for the future. Start looking in a different direction. Um, not only looking in a different direction, but coming to the realization that they are more than they thought they were, right? They have an important and important tasks to complete while they are living on this earth. This may have been like a drastic shock to this person. They may have not believed in the metaphysical before, you know, the spiritual. So it kind of frightened them at first, but it excited them at the same time, okay? So it's kind of like they realized that, um, I'm getting this person, when they were growing up, they were like a sci-fi buff or whatever, like Star Trek and Star Wars and all that type of stuff. And as they got older, they kind of lost the flair for their imaginative abilities and capabilities, right? So this, them going through this awakening and them finding this out, right? It kind of like reignited this childlike wonderment in them, right? Their imagination just like woke up again. Their imagination woke up again. Okay, wheel started spinning again, right? They couldn't stop thinking about this other person. actually thankful, grateful that this happened. Okay, a Gemini, could be Gemini, uh, Scorpio. Fire sign. Earth sign. This person over here, um, maybe a seer. Okay, this page of pentacles is a seer. They also have a, uh, what's it called? I can't remember the correct term for it, but it's a. Uh, auditory and the spiritual, right? They can hear spiritually as well, okay? So they can see and they can hear spiritually as well. They might have other capabilities like smell. <clears throat> Be able to astral project. May have had a past life as a nomad. Right, which is a prophet. Let's go over here. Who's this other person? Their 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 counterpart. The person who woke them up. Who is it? Who is that? Holy Spirit. Who is their counterpart? Page of Wands. Pages, okay. Maybe same sex. Didn't have to be. Shit. Ace of 
Это... This page of wands is also a seer. But holds the different capabilities. They may work with water. Okay. Um, healing. They may heal through water. They may deal in like herbs, uh, botanicals. real intellectual real earthy queen of pentacles mm -hmm. works with herbs and does some type of water healing Person may have been a uh, some type of temple guardian or, or uh, warrior in their in another past life, right? See a nomad right here. It could have been like a a guard to like the, a king or a knight or something like that. This person was an oracle in another life. Here. But to the to a king, okay. So they broke they had past lives together, okay. One was a nomad, right? One life prophet, right? And another a warrior or a, or a temple guard or a knight or something to a king. And this person was a oracle seer to a king, okay. Dang, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, 
Ten of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. Sun, three cups. It's funny, um, I said the night, and the Knight of Wands came out. <laughs> so this is a this is kind of this is kind of a love mixed with a past life love reading. I've never never had it happen before. But all right. Okay, so this person on this side, um, while going through these awakenings, okay, like they're going through them consecutively, okay, um, and after the first one, right, when I said they were getting their like childlike wonderment back, you know, their imagination, when that started to happen, this person started having awakening after awakening, right, and they started to remember specific past lives affirmation okay and who they were in these past lives right and that this other person was someone specific to them in these past lives as well they worked in tandem together Okay, in each lifetime. Every time this one would get hurt in battle, okay, this one would heal them. Okay, remember I said water healing? This one would heal them. Okay, 39.39 on the timer. Which is what this Ten of Swords in reverse is. Healing. This one on this side may have been accused in one of these lifetimes of being a witch, okay? With this sun card and this eight of cords, eight of cords, eight of swords in the reverse, I'm getting like a burned at the stake. Okay. Maybe being accused of being a witch or whatever for their prophetic gifts. Um, they're seeing, you know, seer gifts, 4032 in the time. But every time these people would, you know, pass away and they would be reborn, right, in the next lifetime together, okay, and they would 
always be led back to each other. So there was some type of uh, negative karma, right? That this person on this side had to work off in one of these lifetimes, okay? And they were a concubine, okay? They were a concubine to this king of pentacles in reverse. Okay? A concubine. who still operated in their healing gifts, right? Um, through water, okay? By whatever means they did that, but <clears throat> this healing gift that they had through water, they had in every lifetime that they were in. This is wild. I'm getting this when she was a concubine for this King of Pentacles in reverse, this King of Pentacles in reverse was a bully, violent, okay, had many other lovers outside of their regular concubines. And then I'm getting this woman didn't even want to be one of his concubines, okay? It was kind of like she was a slave rather than a concubine. And she poisoned him. There was a time she was supposed to heal him of something. Using her gifts. And she actually poisoned him. Hmm. She poisoned him in order to be with the one that she loved. Because she was aware of who she was, okay? Um, rather in this lifetime or in, or in other lifetimes, she was aware of who she was, right? Uh, by lineage. And she knew she belonged with him over here. So to get away from this King of Pentacles in reverse, she poisoned him. This can be one of you guys, uh, or somebody's uh, past life story. I have never got one like this, that's crazy. bottom of the deck. Got the Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the World, and Nine of Wands.
Okay, so because of the way that she did this, she racked up more karmic debt. Okay. Though she was a wounded warrior. But she took a life. Okay. When there was another option that could have been chosen. Okay. Instead of taking this man's life. Even if he was a, a tyrant, disgusting pig. So, due to this karmic debt, okay, it's showing me that that's the end of, right, or at least that's the end of the information that's given me for this time, okay. She was born in another life, okay, as a male, a male slave. who raised crops, okay, planted and, and harvested crops on either a farm or a plantation. like the transatlantic slave trade. Okay, let's hop to this side. It, oh, that's... What happened to this fellow over here? Knight of Pentacles up, right? Night. Five Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse. <laughs> so, what I'm getting is, okay, in what in this in this lifetime where this person was a knight, okay, to this to this king right here. Well, not right here, but to the king that I've mentioned before, right? Remember these both were one was a healer to the king, and this one was a knight, right? This knight in two different lifetimes was basically a, a side piece to the queen, okay? was a side piece to whoever this king wife was, okay?
So before this man was a knight, okay, he was a peasant, okay, he was a peasant, okay, or a slave, same thing, that the queen took liking to, okay, and took him out of this peasantry, right, this back-breaking slave peasant work lifestyle, right? Took him out of that and made him a knight so that he could be what is a male mistress called? I'm going to just call him a male mistress, okay? A male mistress to this queen, okay? Justice in the bottom of the team. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the uh, High Priestess in reverse. So in this in this man's knighthood, okay, this is in the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, he became uh, pretty treacherous, okay, became jealous of this king, okay, and sought out this high priestess in reverse, dark high priestess. To put some type of dark work on this queen's king, this queen's husband. Okay, due to jealousy, right? And wanting to be in this king's place. Maybe this was something that they spoke about together or a promise that was made between the two. She already took him from a peasant to a knight. So why not? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? So this knight poisoned this king. This knight, okay, facing that king, poisoned this king. See that fish in that cup? Poison. Okay, what from there? Six 
Mosasaurus. This person presumed this king's spot, okay? But this person was in reverse, okay? King Cups in reverse. And this hermit in reverse. I don't know why I just heard the name Nimrod. I don't know if that was the actual Nimrod or just the meaning of Nimrod. Not long after that, some type of judgment came to this King of Cups in reverse, okay? This person that assumed, presumed this King's place after poisoning him. This King of Cups, which was this knight, became this King of Cups in reverse, okay? Didn't see some type of judgment that was coming, okay, for what they did which this hermit in reverse, right? Did not see, did not have any type of introspection or insight. And some, some type of judgment came. Karma. For both of them, okay? This queen and this fraudster king I just heard impaled so they both may have been impaled I'm looking at this uh, eight of swords and this ten of swords in reverse It's, it's, it's crazy because one, one in the picture is a man and one is a woman. It is crazy. What the hell? So whoever this is for, I think the point of this It's for me to tell you that you should get like some type of past life regression session done, right? Or sessions to figure out and to look into your past lives. At who you were in your past lives, right? The karma that you, uh, the karmic debt that you wrecked up. Um, and maybe still dealing with. Okay. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Seven of cups. Nine of cups. Six of cups. Past life. Past life. Nine of swords. Seven of cups. Past life. It has something to do with your pet, well, obviously, right? But something that you need to see or be informed about, about your past lives, okay? Um, some type of attachment, some type of, uh, something that needs to be healed or something that needs to be pointed out. I don't know. It's, Five of Cups. Okay. Maybe something is making you... Like, like you find yourself in these depressive moods or these, you know, bouts of sadness, heartbreak. Um, 
like even if there's good things going on in your life, right? There's something about your past lives that you need to that you need that needs to be seen. Okay. Yeah, this is right next to this Herman in reverse. There's something about your past lives that needs to be seen. Okay. Emperor Confirmation. You could be an Aries or a fire sign. You watch my channel, that's for sure. Okay. Um, you even left comments on my channel before. Spirits, I'm giving to you like spirits giving to me. You may not have a picture on your profile or a profile name. It might be one of those profiles with just numbers on it. Hmm. It's a personal message for somebody. This is this is this is crazy. Take it as that's the end. That's that's the end of it. Okay. Uh, but what's left over before that is six of wands, the devil, the tower, queen of cups, upright, and the strength. You see it? Okay, so what I'm what Spirit's saying to me, okay. So the Six of Wands, right? You presumed or inherited, okay, or took the place of someone in a position of power, right? By devilish means. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's crazy, right? Okay, so you presumed a position of power, right? You, thank you, Spirit, confirmation. You presumed a position of power, okay? You and this queen that you used to be a, I'm just a male side piece of, okay? Through devilish means, okay? Right? That racked up some karma for you and this queen, okay? Know why I'm getting pulled to this person over here may have been that queen in one of these lifetimes. Okay, the both of you remember I said the both of you were impaled, right? You know that, that means you were on like a you know what impaled means, okay? Like on a sword, right? You were impaled, both of you. Remember I said there was a man and a woman in each of these cars, each of these swords, car suits. Look at the tower. There's a man and a woman coming out of the tower, head first. Tell me I'm not tapping into something here, okay? Right? Thanks, Spirit. <laughs> this is dope. This is wild. Okay. So you presume the position of power, okay? Look, look, man and woman. Chained by the devil. Goodness, goodness, just seeing that. And this emperor is looking at you too. The side of your eye. Confirmation. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. So the tower, right? You guys is death. You plummet to death, right? In one lifetime. Okay. So there's something that happened in these lifetimes, okay, that is tied to your emotions. Okay, having something to do with your strength.
okay? Which is why maybe you have some type of depression that just won't go or I don't know, it's something that you get hard, I don't know, anything great could be happening and there's just this sadness that's with you, okay? Um, and, it, and it has something to do with what I just said, okay? And I believe getting this session or these sessions of past life regression, okay, are going to heal you and your emotions, okay, for you to be able to assess and access your strength fully in this lifetime, okay, something like that, okay, yeah, because these are right on top of the sun card. These are right on top of the sun card. Okay? So, whatever you find out in these regression sessions, these past life regression sessions, okay, it's going to rid you of that. Whatever this, whatever is attached to you from one of these, from these past lives or one of these past lives, whatever is attached to you from that past life, you finding out about it and being healed of it, okay? Or it being released from you is going to allow you to operate fully in your strength and in your power and in full happiness, okay? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> And that's for both of you, okay? This could be people, this could be a couple that's together now, or this could be just two, just two separate people, right? That watch my channel, okay? But there's a man and a woman, okay? Don't have to be actual man and woman in, in, in this day and age, okay? Could be two men, could be two women, could be a man and a woman, like I said. But it ended with a blank card. Okay, so that was the end of 11010 on the time of thank you, Spirit. That was the end of this. Okay, so that's the, that's your message for whoever this is for. Okay, you are a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your chart. Dang, that was crazy, bro. That was crazy. I have never seen that. I have never even witnessed that happen before. That's crazy. Okay, Sag. Okay. All right. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I'm about to put, that's, a, that's a special reading. Well, that's a special reading. I'm about to put some money. All right. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay. And this has something to do, uh, maybe in one of in one of these past lives. Yeah, what I just got done talking about. You know exactly what you were doing. Yeah, you did. You and you and your person. Okay, back to Cinder. Okay, so some type of karma. This karma that you have to, uh, you know get info on uh, property I'm not sure about that one okay that could be for anybody property you see the numbers one two three four somebody can be from Atlanta or moving to now that you're gone I can't stop thinking about you okay I don't I don't know. This I don't know. This, I don't know. This is this is as a match to usual ones I do. You see number twenty twenty. That fits twenty twenty. Hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Past life regression. Looking back into the past. I love it when you smile. Okay, I guess this could be something that you and used to say to your person back then. I don't know. Don't know. I'm guessing here.
inheritance. This has something to do with this. This 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 plan you guys concocted in the past past life. Because remember you 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 wanted to take the king's place, right? You inherited his his throne. And now see and understand your value. Hmm. I don't know, beloved, but <laughs> that's the message. That is the weird message that just came out. So, uh, all right, I love y'all, Sash. Okay, uh, that that was that that blew my mind. I don't, I don't know. That, yeah. <laughs> I'll holler at y'all later, Sash. Love y'all. Later. Peace.